why do you think you'd be dead if you were in New Orleans? That's a ridiculous, blind, a blind, blind statement. I'm born and bred New Orleans, Louisiana, saved by Jesus Christ. I enjoy your videos, but you should recant that statement. Mardi Gras, 2006. Me, my roommates, and a couple of friends decided to go down to Bourbon Street, okay? Went to Bourbon Street, indulged in pleasure and sin, blah, 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 blah. Might have had a few drinks, but I was sober. If anybody had, has ever been young and have gotten so drunk that you drank yourself sober, you know what I'm talking about. The uh, night was closing down. It was coming to an end. And I'm telling you, there was so many people on Bourbon Street. It was like shoulder to shoulder, like, you know, having to squeeze through. But there were still little pockets. But for the most part, it was shoulder to shoulder. Night was closing down. And um, walking down through Bourbon Street, now keep in mind, the street and the sidewalks in Bourbon Street are completely slippery. You will slip and fall and bust your butt like that walking down bourbon street and my best friend justin hickman who used to be my best friend it's like a lot of people have stopped talking to me but anyway he was across the street from me with his girlfriend christy shout out christy she still supports me great person um he had gotten an argument with a homeless guy i guarantee you he was not Justin, but the homeless guy was drunk. Justin was drunk too. But the homeless guy was drunk, harassing people, probably asking people for money, and just totally obnoxious. Because I seen Justin try to walk around him and ignore him. As Justin walks around him, he stops and turns back around. And he says something to this homeless guy. And I'm watching all this take place. He says something to this homeless guy that pissed the homeless guy off. And I watched it, I seen it in slow motion. The homeless guy rears back like this, swings as hard as he can, and my friend Justin, drunk as he is, sees the punch coming and just ducks like this. He ducks like this. Like this, he ducks like this. As he ducks in slow motion, Christy is standing behind him so when the homeless guy swings, Justin ducks, he misses Justin and smokes Christy so hard in the face, her hair flies forward, knocking her out, and she falls down on the ground like this. And I just clicked like it was go time. I don't even... I, I think I left my thoughts and feelings and emotions over here on this side of the street and I'm coming to kill you came to this side of the street. So I run over there and at the time I'm, I am 19 years old. I'm 19 years old, but I was a stallion at 19 years old. This dude, grown man, this homeless guy was probably... 46, 47 years old, full grown man. I'm 19. I'm coming over there. This dude don't have a, a plastic bag's chance in a tornado. So we start fighting and I get him, hit him two or three times, all the while trying to hold my balance because we're slipping on the. Everybody on Bourbon Street that night has spilt their drink on the sidewalk and it is slippery as all get out. It's like. They made the sidewalk out of bathroom tile or something. So I'm slipping and slipping. So when I hit him, boom, I slide back. He goes to swing and then he slides this way. And then I go to hit him and I slide over here. So we're ice skating and fighting at the same time. Finally, I hit him one good time. He falls on the ground. And before I start to curve stomp this dude, all these black women that seen the whole thing take place, they're pissed off because this dude hit a woman. They run over there, and I mean, they start kicking the shit out of this homeless dude. And later on, the black girl was like, what part of New Orleans you from, baby? 
And I'm I'm not from New Orleans, but she said, boy, you fight like you from NOLA. <laughs> anyway, long story short, um, they run over there. They start beating him up. There's a light all of a sudden in my face. Boom, big old light in my face. Bam. So I just got in a fight. Uh, and, and it was way more than what I'm telling y'all, but just for the sake of a TikTok video, a light was in my face. All of a sudden, I'm like, man, who, the, who do they think they are? So I rear back like this. And I just clocked the light out of my face. Immediately, these people start screaming, cops, cops, punk, cops, cops. And it's not the cops that you're thinking of. It's not the cops where they arrest people. It's the TV show Cops. The light was from the camera. The TV crew camera was, the TV show Cops was on Bourbon Street that night filming an episode of Cops. And they seen me fighting this dude, so they ran over there to get it on film. The dumb-ass camera lady thinks it's a good idea to come up to me after I've been in a fight and put the camera light, like, dead in my face. And I had no idea who it was because I couldn't see past the light. But when I knocked the camera out of her face, I seen her, I seen the cop's hat, I seen the vest, the director's vest, the dude holding the big microphone. This is 2006. They had the old type of technology holding the microphone. He's like, hey, and he puts the thing down. And so I guess I'm pretty sure I didn't make that episode. So long story short, <clears throat> I know the real cops are coming. So I take off running. We take off running. I get to um, St. Charles, four-way. Is that St. Charles? No, that's not St. Charles. Is it St. Charles? I think so. Yeah, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on this. The main four-way that Bourbon Street runs into, I think, I'm pretty sure that's St. Charles. So, I go to St. Charles. This red Ford Explorer pulls up. And the door opens. And like, hop in, baby. Hop in. We'll take it to your car. My dumbass 19-year-old self hops in this car with these black dudes. They shut the door. They pull about eight feet, and they pull over. The dude pulls a pistol out of his waistband and points it at me and tells me to empty my pockets. I'm not going to tell y'all what happened next, but they did not succeed at robbing me I just, I'm not going to go there. I'll, I'll get banned enough. They did not succeed in robbing me. Okay, that's as far as I'll go with that one. So, I am literally leaving out so much stuff. That was the one time just that night that I could have been shot in New Orleans. We're not talking about all the times where I was running up and down New Orleans with a heroin addiction. No, we're not talking about all them times where I had to go into the third ward to get my sister's boyfriend that was literally a third world country where they had people on the front porches of their house that they have converted into hood stores with AK-47s. No white people. And somebody took his money and my dumb ass was bound and determined to get it back. Again, we walked out of there with something. Not his money, but he got his money's worth. Again, perfect example. I could have been shot that night. Real quick, I will tell y'all what happened. He got he he got coerced into giving his money to a junkie. I come in there. He asked me to come in there and get his money back, help him get his money back. I was mad. I was so mad. We drove all the way from Mississippi, and I gave him my money. It's the last money he had, and he had it stolen. So long story short... We ran into these dudes in a car. They asked us to go down into an alley. The grass behind the house they asked us to go into was about this high. Straight, I mean, straight killing fields. Straight where they bring people. Look, we would definitely would find a body behind this house. Lo and behold, the black gentleman that was a junkie really didn't rob him. He really was trying to help him. So when he showed up, those guys got in the car and left like they knew what's up. They didn't want to step on anybody else's business inside their own hood. If he hadn't have showed up just in time, that would have went sideways. I'm not going to recant my statement. I have almost been shot in New Orleans more times than I realize. If I sat down and thought about it, it would blow your mind. That is the truth. Thank you for following me. Have a good day.